Hey, how you guys doing out there? Elric here once again on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel bringing you guys a really cool unboxing. Today, Gigabyte's releasing their new Z68 version of the Sniper G1 Killer series of motherboards. Now, this is gonna feature all the great stuff, their 2X, their durable series stuff. It's gonna have the Bigfoot, it's gonna have the creative, uh, the, the, the new 5.0 EAX is on here all on board this motherboard. So today we're just gonna bring in the unboxing, show you everything that comes in the packaging before we bring the full review. So let's jump right in and check out what's inside the packaging. So up here on top, there's just a couple clips. I don't really need a knife or anything for this today. So let's go ahead and pop the cap off. We'll just bust this out real quick. A little easier said than done, but there we go. Turn it up nice and upside down. It makes it nice and simple. There we go. Go ahead and pull the cap off. All right. You can see the boxes are separate. We have the motherboard in one separate box. And then we have all the rest of the bundle, everything. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna dump this stuff out here rough and ready for you guys. You guys know what's up. I guess we'll go ahead and start off with the content. We'll pop it open. All right, we'll check it out. This is how it's gonna come just from the factory. You can see that's all cool. Got the nice gigabyte poster right there. Underneath that, we have a bunch of really cool stickers. A lot of cool stickers here. Even if you're an adult and you have kids, you know your kids like stickers, they're cool. Let me try to just flap these flaps open right here. Here's the rest of the content stuff. As you saw in my custom build, where you saw me do Elric's Ultimate System, you saw one of these same breakout boxes from my motherboard because I have the same type of motherboard for the X58. This is the USB 3.0 breakout box. The wires connect directly into the motherboard themselves or you have the option of actually connecting them to the back port. You have options for these things. I'll just go ahead and set that out there in front. Then we go ahead and we have the manual. Go ahead and set this down here. We have the little Z68 installation CD, then the manual. Then we've got the faster than HDD only system, the 4 Plus HDD Smart Response Technology. So this features that, the SRT technology. This is where you combine an SSD with using a standard hard drive to get somewhat RAID performance. It's pretty good stuff. Works really good if you're using a slower hard drive, especially. And then we got right here a multilingual installation guide. That means it has multi-languages. So if you speak Chinese or whatever, you'll be able to read that and get your stuff installed. We have two of the, U, uh, excuse me, the SATA 3.0 cables right here. You see those? I'll go ahead and set those out down here. Got a little gigabyte sticker right here. Motherboard also supports Crossfire and SLI. Take that into note. That's something really good about all these motherboards they're doing. The rear I.O. is completely decked out. You can see that everything is clearly marked on it so that you know what's going on. Comes with an SLI cable. It only does standard SLI. To me, that's perfectly well. I don't need four video cards in my system. Two cards is just fine unless you're just trying to show off, I think. So that's everything right there. You can see that this would be the bundled page if you were reading a written review on motherboards.org. That's www.motherboards.org for those of you who might not know. I'll go ahead and just put this stuff out of the way and we'll continue on to take a look at the motherboard. A lot of nice stuff comes in this, you can see. It's not too well flapped out, but it still comes with some nice stuff. So I'll go ahead and just get this out of the way temporarily for right now without trying to make a big old mess or a big splash on the floor. And we'll move on and we'll take a look at the motherboard. Now, that being said, this motherboard is their ultra durable line. It means it's very heavy duty. The motherboard is very heavy as I'm pulling it out of the box. Um, I wish I could get the anti-static bag out of there. I can't. So I will just try to use the top of the box. Maybe I'll use a table. Hopefully it'll be okay. I've grounded myself out, so we should be pretty good. So let's just take a look at the board. I'm going to just go ahead and angle it out right here. Board's completely decked out all the way across. You can see up here by the zip socket. It's got, you know, all the good stuff here. Japanese capacitors low ferrite choke, all that good stuff's all embedded on here. You can see all the MOSFETs are all cooled all the way across. Um, once again, it's shaped like a gun. You can see part of the thing is here, the barrel's here, the magazine is here. Um, for those of you who like Kawasaki motorcycles or you like NVIDIA theme, this is actually kind of a very NVIDIA themed board as you can see from the green colors that are prevalent everywhere around the board. Um, we've got the eight pin power connector up here on top. You can see that. And then over here, we have the 24 pin power connector. All around the ZIF socket, this is Z68, this will fit all the new uh, Intel, the, the iCore second generation CPUs, the i7, i3, i5, you guys know all that stuff. Has hyper threading, all that good stuff. A lot of them feature the new turbo technology, really cool stuff. Um, 32 gigabytes of DDR memory right here. This is DDR3, it's dual channel. 
prices on this are very good right now in the market so you can get yourself a lot of memory for very cheap um now right here there's the killer 2100 now this is the bigfoot killer this is the one of the biggest features on the board this network card i've actually been experimenting around a lot with my system it actually is really cool because you can actually manage how all of your network traffic is coming in so say that you want to dedicate everything you have to the all the games you're downloading that stuff and you don't really care about other stuff you can dedicate everything to that if you want to dedicate it for surfing the net you can do that as well it gives you a really good maintenance system there's also speed tests and all that stuff with this it's all the way built in you just automatically click a button and go through it it's a really nice Nice feature down here you can see all the creative stuff is down here they use a lot of good stuff on here last time I called the name wrong so I'm gonna try to say it again because it's it's Japanese and I don't want to mess it up but you can see this is really high quality all these little green and gold capacitors right here these are very very nice high quality stuff moving down the board we can see that we have two of your PCI 1x slots right here now just to take note anything that you can stick in these cards you can stick in these cards as well in these slots rather excuse me I don't even really know why they put these they should just have the slots all the way down but they do then you can see we have two PCI 16x slots right here these will support both crossfire or SLI and then we have a single standard PCI slot down here at the bottom overall pretty cool over here as well you can see these are all the slots for your SATA everything on this board across the board is pretty much going to be SATA 3.0 when they made these boards they made one of the specifics what they're going to do is be high end so everything on here is total high end you have external SATA right here as well um, and then right here on the front of the board right here it's hard to kind of see these are all your external connections for USB and etc cetera, etc cetera. and then you have down here where all your case wiring comes to be the case wiring that comes on and hooks it over so anyways well now we'll flip it around we'll take a look at the rear arrow you can see that the rear arrow is very fleshed out got a lot of stuff on there all the way across you can see there's all kinds of usb 3.0 there's eSATA. there's you know the there's just all kinds of good stuff you can see there's both audio and both in both uh, standard analog and digital you've even got back here you've got the standard port that's both legacy for both your keyboard and your mouse so all in all, all in all, a very, very fleshed out motherboard here. So basically at the end, you can see this motherboard's very fleshed out, has a lot of great features on it. This was the unboxing, tried to give you guys as much as you guys, sorry, as much information as you like. I know you guys like a lot of that. Now, this is the G1 Killer Sniper 2 motherboard. It supports the Z68 chipset and all of the new Intel second generation i7, i5, and i3 CPUs. See you guys soon for the full review here on motherboards.org.